can't do, it's about what I can do. So, you know, this is a great time of year to head outside and enjoy the beauty of Chattanooga and the surrounding areas. One of the prettiest spots happens to be right smack dab and part of the commercial hub of Chattanooga, and that's Audubon Acres. Darlene Carlson is here. This is Justin McElhaney, who is chairing, right, this event coming up October 23rd called Coosa Chiefdom Days, mm -hmm. taking place at Audubon Acres. Good to see you both. Good, Good morning. You. So what prompted the first of its kind event with this Coosa Chiefdom Days and why Coosa? Oh, uh, well, if you want to start uh, talk a little bit about kind of how Daisy contacted you originally. Well, Audubon Acres is honestly known for for its affiliation with the Native American community. Mm -hmm. um, we're a Trail of Tears certified historic site for the Native Americans that were removed from that land that farmed there. So it's been a place of honor among the Cherokee and um, we felt like with this month, October, uh, that we wanted to help honor some of the history that is that is part of this area right. of the country. So I don't know much, I will admit, about Native American history, uh, Cherokee specifically. I should, but I don't know all that I should know. So when I asked you why Coosa, is that name significant to the Cherokee? Uh, not necessarily to the Cherokee, actually predates the Cherokee. Uh, the Coosa Chieftain was actually located uh, just south of here in northern Georgia and uh, those people are known as the mound builders. And they actually built uh, pyramid type mounds. Um, and there's been a lot of archeology span done in the last uh, 20, 30 years of uh, kind of rediscovered a lot of the history that was before the Cherokee. Um, and they actually led to the five civilized tribes, uh, which are the Cherokee, the Choctaw, Seminole, things like that. Um, and so, so when people come out on the 23rd, are they going to learn some of this history? Or? I, I would say that that is mostly what this is, mm -hmm. an, an educational event. And the Kusa was a combination of tribes. It was the head of what is called the five civilized, they were the heads of the five civilized tribes. So this is a way of sharing the cultures of different tribes. So when you come out, uh, and it's beautiful, it's just a regular admission, by the way, that day, there's not like a special ticketed price to come in. Is the learning gonna be just reading and learning, or will there be demonstrations? What will there be? Uh, there will be a, a few demonstrations. Uh, one of the things that we're gonna do is a historical uh, presentation about, by a local Cherokee that's actually gonna take on the persona of one of these uh, early chiefs from the Kusa chieftain. Um, there's also going to be a pottery demonstration of the pottery from that time period. Um, we're also going to have a, uh, a kind of memorial uh, for uh, children that were been found in the missionary schools. Um, and that's actually going to be put on by Tamara Hicks, uh, who's a local Cherokee also. And then there's also going to be a presentation, a uh, musical presentation of the anthem from The Trail Was a Circle, which mm -hmm. is a, a historical uh, musical that's been put on a couple times here in Chattanooga. And that actually, that's how I originally got involved in this. I hope it's okay for me to say this, but I think a lot of people, if, you're, if you are a local, whether it, to the to the southeast, not just Chattanooga specifically, but to the Appalachian Mountains in this region, Tennessee, North Carolina, Georgia. I think a lot of people enjoy finding out as they go through their family genealogy that they have Cherokee blood. I mean, it's a real sense of honor and pride that a lot of us take in finding it. So because of that, do you think that there's gonna be an increased interest in this event on the 23rd, that people want to connect to this part of our history? Yes, absolutely. I definitely think so. Um, about five, uh, six years ago, we actually started uh, doing the Trails of Circle production. And even from that time, the interest in Cherokee in this region has definitely grown and become a whole lot larger than yeah. all of us. Because uh, every day there's more historical things that are coming to light that can show that how their culture, yeah. and the history of the people of this area. So with... Um Coming into Audubon Acres, you said it's a general admission ticket, so which, which is how much? 
Um, it depends on your age, but it's $6 for adults, $3 for children. And you can buy a membership to Audubon Acres. We're on the cusp of the holiday season. A great gift idea to give Abs a family. Absolutely, and members actually come into this event for free. That's one of the perks of, of purchasing a membership. And Audubon Acres is just one part of the Chattanooga Audubon Society. If you know McClellan Island, if you ever walk across the Walnut Street Bridge and you don't know what that mass of land is out there in the water, that's McClellan Island. Y'all manage that as well. Absolutely. And we're, we're actually really looking forward to hosting this event because it is about educating the community about um, the, their history here and I think it'll be really excellent um, for kids too. They'll be able to come and enjoy it uh, probably maybe five or six and up mm -hmm. but um, it, it'll be good for children. So mark your calendar October 23rd is the date. The place to be is Audubon Acres just on the other end of Gun Barrel Road not the mall end uh, and support our local community. Learn about our collective history and good to see you both. Thank you. Set, 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 set